Hello, I'm Redwan of Redwan.org. I'm going to show you a super demo this time. It's the SF Android, and this is aimed to the developers out there who wants to debug the code because this is a project in progress. This is still in development of a new version by the creators uh, from Venezuela, Yamasene and Carlos Parada. I've met them there a few months ago and today I'm pleased to announce that for some time I've successfully converted it, the server side to plugins on the Idempia project. Well, the if you know about Android, Android is a standalone and it communicates with the backend by sending a soap call between uh, with the ERP server and this ERP site has configurable metadata and it's based on Postgres SQL database but when the response come back you'll be stored as SQLite database on the Android I have it all explained in my manual the SF Android and you can get them and all the other plugins through my SourceForge repository read one files etc. or the sources, the actual sources of the code, you can go to bitbucket slash red one and look at the various projects. Um, the original project that I forked from is uh, from Yamel Sel Sene. This bitbucket is called Selem. And my effort here is sponsored by Sisnova Bangladesh. I'd like to mention special thanks to Deepak Pancharia of India who was, has done the web services and he helped me in resolving some issues with the web services okay let's start from the top let's go to the server side now the server side um, we have the idempia and you can see that they are all in plugin format this is the beauty of idempia and you can insert new plugins and this is what I've done with SF Android server with this uh, meta model stored in the two pack um, you can pack it in automatically here or if it fails because it's a very large pack you can do it manually again refer to my manual on how to do that um, let's take a glimpse of the source code yeah this is all in our plugin format okay the web services SS Android WS is dependent on the Idempia web services because it's more of a synchronization engine and um, it uh, basically let me show you that the uh, services is here and it is active it is started so you can refer to it from the web here Okay, so the web services can be called, and it's my local host. Now, let me jump a bit back to the Android side. Ah, Android side is closed now. Let me try to get the Android working. But anyway, I have some screenshots to show what actually happened. Uh, now, let me come back to the server side where the meta model is. Now, once you have uh, the meta model in for Android, um, the initial load process, okay, is where you define your actions, whether it's initial to synchronize, download, process, upload, with the script, the SQL script of actually doing database transfer, and here are all preset scripts ready for you. And you can define the sequence, and here I've defined. Um, some basic setup of tables instead of everything so you may have to move all these other tables just by selecting and use this arrow here and you can select bulk so this is the beauty of Idempier inherited from Compere this model and enhanced by the community so these tables I successfully run a few minutes ago here and that's where it crashed because of the memory limitation while doing a movie at the same time but I can show you now if you go to the DDMS uh, plugin and 
you can call up to your emulator or the inbuilt database data data and it's stored under uh, um, data org dot appd dot base databases sf android and you can view open the view uh let me see you can open the view for e explorer sql explorer uh, which i've done here and you can see that these tables are all loaded in okay as it was done it takes about less than a minute in fact it's very fun and i'm running on my local slide it's no matter if you have a good line over the internet this is using web services um, there's no data in in this initial and this where i hope developers will come in to continue this work okay so i have got the screenshots and of how everything happened and what to do how to clear the database again and how do we log in and so forth all in the manual okay so read the manual and it's a beautiful manual not boring nice pictures or some chicks I met along the way and if you like fast cars so uh, it's in detail format very very detailed format of um, hmm. this me in Japan cool huh so like I said it's in very detailed format and I'd like you to follow it and please write back in my forum or write to me if you want to collaborate and need help uh, so here's me checking out then and uh, let me get back the notes yeah so what I was showing you was basically the environment that I use the Eclipse on the ERP server side and the ADK on the Android side and I'm not able to show you these three process in action but I'll show you the result due to memory problems of running the movie at the same time so please refer to my manual and see you again soon all the best bye bye